this year we're having a larger problem with crabgrass than we've had in the past. Um, the reason for that is our barrier that we put down uh, late March, early April uh, was disturbed probably about mid-July. Um, we had really high temperatures which created a lot of heat and ground cracked um, which broke up the barrier and then we had a lot of moisture so we're starting to see crabgrass in areas um, this year even though we uh, put down the barrier um, it was broken up. So right here is a few um, different stages of crabgrass. Right here we have a really small, um, immature crabgrass. Um, and I'll come back to this. This is when you want to spray it and get it killed. Here's another uh, stage of the crabgrass. This is probably about mid-stage. Um, it's starting to get develop thicker stems and thicker leaves. Um, at this point it's a little bit harder to control, but we can still control it. Um, and over here we have um, very mature crabgrass and when it gets to this stage it's got such thick stalks that it's very hard to control. Um, so we try to get it before it reaches this stage. Once it reaches this stage the easiest thing to do for the customer um, is to go and try to pull it out and when you pull it out you want to get as much of the stem um, underneath the soil as you can um, that way it won't come back the following season.